Hello everyone, welcome back to the FTCROP of DuckTales Remastered. In this part, MBM and myself are joined by FTCR's resident babe, Mia. Hello. So, what made you want to talk, Mia, over the most overrated level in video game history? Uh, because it's one of the most overrated levels in video game history. <laughs> Still uh, point, well yeah. made. Exactly. You know what? It's just you know this this level. It, it's fine, and the music track is fine. But I don't get the insane love this level gets. One word. Nostalgia. Brent, you fuck. You know what? If if it wasn't for the fact that because of his subscriber count, I'm not allowed to speak with him. I tell him. I tell him to go fuck himself for making this song so popular. <laughs> Ah, uh, Fenton. Fenton, Fenton. Mm. I have nothing to say about Fenton. He's a boring character. I've always um, likened uh, uh, Scrooge McDuck's voice to Shrek. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Just because they're Why? both Scottish? That's racist. <laughs> You know what? I love this. Uh, the fact that they, they explain he doesn't have a spaceship yeah. because he, he he's chewing gum. <laughs> I think the best explanation ever given in the cartoon was in Jimmy Neutron, because Sheen asked, Jimmy started explaining, and Carl just starts singing about singing in space over the entire explanation. <laughs> <laughs> the Earth is sure is moving fast. Like, isn't it supposed to take a whole day for this to happen, for the moon to go around the Earth or something? Mia, we're, we're watching a footage of of talking ducks on the moon, and you're complaining about the uh, the gravitational uh, speed of the Earth. I'm guessing this is also the site that's not blown up. <laughs> Well, te technically, if you want to get this happen in the late 80s, so this is many years before Eggman blew it up. <laughs> How do you know? Because it's, 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 it's DuckTales. It's the timeline, Mia! God! <laughs> it's the split timeline of Sonic and uh, DuckTales. So, Mia, what is your, um, what is your experience then with uh, this, this game? The remastered version or just DuckTales in general, the game uh, in general? Uh, both. Uh... I uh, played a bit of I played the uh, NES game and it's really fun to play. It's just like you know pogoing around and shit and you know it controls fun. It's satisfying to bounce on stuff with the pogo stick and uh, this remake I haven't played too much of it but um, I have played a bit of it and yeah it's uh, it's good it's good it does the <laughs> does the it's job fine. of a remake. It's fine. <laughs> it's a level. The entire game is a level. In fact, you could say that the game consists of levels. Wow. This, this, this game is, in fact, a game. 10 out of 10. Best game ever. Was, in fact, a game. Delivered as promised. Yeah, whenever I'm playing this game, though, I, like... When you get up into the ship right. thing that's up there, I always... It always seems like a Lechman stage from Mega Man 1, which... Makes sense. <laughs> hey, like I say, the Disney NES games, at the very least, it they definitely just took assets that they were probably gonna put in Mega Man games, but they just couldn't fit in. So they're like, you know what? Let's use it. We made it. Exactly. This just screams Mega Man, which makes sense as it was, you know, the same designers originally. I think. I say I wouldn't say it's lazy. It's just using what you got. Yeah. Well, you know, because I, I, I know we both did a pretty that obviously in the food they made this. I think, I think this was the game they were working on while they were working on Mega Man Two in their spare time. Because yep. I believe Mega Man One wasn't a, wasn't a uh, a big hit, and so Capcom yeah. was well, Capcom was essentially was like, if you want to make a Mega Man Two, you can, but you have to make it on your own time. So I think in between working on games like Ducktales, they were just working on uh, Mega on Man, Man Two. Yeah. But you know, makes sense because you know, obviously, as we said before, the uh, like, you can you can choose your own level. Some of the uh, of the uh, like le level layouts and stuff kind of are you know, slightly Mega Man esque, so it all yeah. makes sense. Well, yeah, you get to Darkwing and Duck, and there are literally Sniper Joes. <laughs> <laughs> They're green. You can't shoot them at all times, and then they shoot a pellet, and then you shoot them back. It's 
Like I said, all they did was carry over assets, and it works for them. I wonder, I wonder why though did they never put in a uh, either a a, a power up or a weapon in Mega Man, which worked like like the Pogo stick. Yeah, that would actually been cool. Because they were too busy putting in a ballerina spin move. Oh god, the top spin! Oh my god, he knows my top spin. <laughs> <laughs> now I've got your power. Punch. Pharaoh Man is a badass, I don't care what anyone says. What's up, Fenton? <laughs> Bye, Fenton! Aww. Oh, look, it's a 2D sprite in the middle of a... In the middle of a 3D background. Mia, stop disillusioning my suspension of disbelief! <laughs> so, actually, if, that's a thing, Mia. What do, what do you think, then, about uh, how it looks? No, I was just kidding. It looks like it doesn't look. It's not like super 100% like next gen type stuff, but it does the job and it looks fine. There's nothing wrong with how it looks. Good point, well made. I do think the uh, backgrounds and stuff kind of look like something you'd seen early in a PSP game, though. <laughs> well, they're 3D painted, okay? I got a level three certificate of technology. Rats in space. Well, I mean, also because this game was um, just designed to be a downloadable game. You know, obviously it's yeah, yeah. You know, the budget. I mean, I would imagine probably most of the budget went to uh, marketing, marketing slash the voice talent. Probably, yeah. yeah. Aw, oh, see, the zero gravity section could have been a bit more interesting. That's definitely not the NES, so. It would have been kind of cool going through the old NES maps with zero gravity. Yeah, I mean, the, the, it, it's such a pointless addition. It's like, why why you put it there for, for like a five second quote unquote puzzle, you know? To show that we can. <laughs> We're way forward, damn it. We can do a zero gravity <laughs> puzzle if we want to. I must say, I love the Comic Sans font they used for the subtitles. <laughs> You'd care, wouldn't you? If, if, if Smoothies was here, he'd be ripping out his uh, met metaphorical hair. <laughs> Only his hairdresser would know. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, let's you know, let, let let's confront the moon in the room. This this music track, it's it's it, it, it's a fine remix. It, it's a fine original track. But why do you think? I mean, I know I, I know I know where me have said Brent the Floss at the beginning, but. Seriously, like, what, what about it do you think is is what what makes people go crazy for it? The key signature, mostly. I have no idea what that means. It's in a really... Uh, I don't know what key signature it is, but just the way the notes are arranged, basically. And uh, I also think it has something to do with the kind of background thing that's going like... In the background. <laughs> I think it's similar to what Stage J for Chippendales does for us, is that it's a high-energy, fast song for a Disney game. So what happens is that you hear the song, and people are like, Oh, what game was that from? That's from Mega Man something, right? No, it's from DuckTales. Because I bet you, especially nowadays, just because the game is so old, most people have heard the Moon song before they actually knew about DuckTales. Probably, yeah. So, Probably. So what happens is that the song is the song is more known than the game helps in that aspect and then just the energy of the song itself it causes people to be like that's from DuckTales no way that's like the coolest song ever <laughs> which with the, I know that when they were talking about um remastered and, and specifically the music Jake Kaufman was like you know here at WayForward we know how much the internet loves the moon so we're gonna make sure it sounds good. But I would, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not putting down this remix. But this is probably my least favorite of all of the the five main level things. They probably had to make it sound as similar to the original as possible, so purists would be like, "Oh no, they changed it, and so it's terrible now." Oh no, definitely. That once again, that was another one of the documentaries when they went. They were talking about the music. The first thing they showed was like, "Okay, here's the Ducktales main theme." It's the same, all right? We're good? Okay, now, here's the moon theme. I did change it, but I hope you like it. Okay, the internet likes it, we're good, clear, all right. Whew, 
Cause let's let's honestly let's be let's be fair. Uh, like pre-release reception was going to be heavily based on people saying, "Is the mood remix good?" <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah. it was the game success was hinging on whether or not people were gonna be mad at the remix of the moon, which is sad and pathetic. It's also weird because it, 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 like all, all of the other levels, like added stuff, especially like Transylvania, and like that is a fucking amazing remix because it adds so much to the the original. But like the moon, it is just kind of like we're gonna we're not gonna deviate too much from you know we're not gonna add anything crazy in it. It's just you know, a modern I, arrangement. Yeah. Which, which, to go back, to go back to the Brenda Floss, the, the 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 instrumental track to his duck, to his moon thing, I actually think makes a better remix than, than this track does. <laughs> Do the spikes so, kill you in one hit? No, they don't. Nah. The only in this game really, the only thing that, that, that's a one-hit wonder is falling to your death or if you're being chased by a boulder if that hits you. Ah, okay. <laughs> that's one of my favorite lines. And <laughs> why would you choose to fight crime on a unicycle? <laughs> that's such a good line. Why would you fight crime as a squirrel? Good point, well made. There's, there's also another thing where Scrooge says, uh, I have to thank Fenton for making this hyperspace pocket so I can carry everything around in here. Yeah, <laughs> I, I love shit like that. It's, yeah. you know, it's so dumb, but it's great. Also, that unicycle in the original NES, that was the location of the second super secret hidden treasure required in order to get the best ending. Oh yeah, the million dollar ending. Uh, the ten million dollar ending. So you ten needed the hit it. You needed the ring from the Amazon mine. I forget what the treasure from the moon was, but it was in that location. Plus, beat all the levels with ten million dollars in the vault. Yeah. I want to know who's hiding all these gems. Uh, duck god. Duck. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a thing, hey, maybe you, you are, you're a bit more knowledgeable of the uh, DuckTales slash Carl Banks canon than I, which is an expression I've never thought I'd hear myself say, but is there a, a uh, is there some kind of, uh, like, deity in the world of DuckTales? Money. <laughs> <laughs> just like, just like in real life, everyone just worships the almighty dollar. Yup. The all I E aller. Aller. This is kind of weird because there's the all almighty dollar, but uh, they all celebrate Christmas. Oh yeah. Yep. Even Scrooge celebrates Christmas in his own Scroogey way. Well, you know, that, I, I would say I think one of the best uses of Scrooge McDuck was in the uh, Christmas Carol, where he oh, played. Yeah, he, yeah, he, yeah. he played Scrooge, and uh, it's such a. <laughs> That's a perfect use of Scrooge McDuck. Yep. You don't I, say. I still, I still watch that Christmas special. Cause the thing is, I don't watch a lot of Christmas specials now. They just annoy me. Like I used to watch the claymation ones to death, and now I, I can't watch them. It's like this is, I can't. It bores me. So I always watch the Disney Christmas Carol. I watch Muppet Christmas Carol. Yeah. And I, yep. and I watch uh, the Billy and Mandy Christmas special. <laughs> I, that is the perfect Christmas special because I still love the scene where the Christmas tree falls over during the mall riot and everyone cheers, and then the Christmas tree spontaneously combusts and everyone cheers louder. <laughs> <laughs> and then Gilbert Gottfried is Vampire Santa. <laughs> love it. No, I think I was it. I, I believe from the original NES version, isn't this this uh, G Gizmo Dark section greatly imp like expanded upon? It's greatly expanded. In the original NES, all you needed to do was find a remote control in the ship and then head back to the lunar surface and go to the right and then Gizmo Duck shows up and he breaks a block that is blocking the path. But you can also just uh, get hit by an enemy and use the recoil to knock yourself into the block and then just skip the entire spacecraft section and just go straight into the moon itself. Pixel perfect pro strats. I don't know if it's pixel perfect but it is indeed a pro strat. 
because it means you have to listen to less of the moon music. <laughs> Please don't unsubscribe. <laughs> or do. We're not your mom. I love that Scrooge. I love that Scrooge just shit, just shit talks these people. Like, yeah, you may be smart with machines, but you're a fucking idiot, Fenton. <laughs> it's called criticism. He gives them a compliment, and then he tells them on what they need to improve upon. <laughs> I don't. I don't remember too much of Gizmo Duck in the cartoon. It, that that. I believe he was a second season addition as well, along with, with Bubba. Also, here's another thing too: is that Gyro still doesn't know who is Gizmo Duck. <laughs> Every time the transformation occurs, he's conveniently out of the room, so he has no idea who the fuck Gizmo Duck is. <laughs> And again, why would you just have Gizmo Duck and Baba come along with you the entire time? He does that once in a while, but yeah, they should have replaced the nephews with these guys. You know what? Just make Gizmo Duck and Baba be the nephews. <laughs> <laughs> Scrooge adopts <laughs> like a 40 year old like inventor. Although to be fair, having a robot and a caveman be a sidekick all the time just kind of screams of like a Doctor Who plot. <laughs> <laughs> I mean old Scottish duck with robot and caveman. Come on. I just you know, I would just love to see the juxtaposition of, of again the futuristic robot with the prehistoric cave you know cave and I know it, it, it's Chrono Trigger. You know what? Let's remake Chrono Trigger but with DuckTales characters. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Chrono Quacker. Quacker Cross. <laughs> Quacker Trigger. <laughs> Quacker Trigger. <laughs> I'm triggered now. Oh, Jesus. The green cheese of longevity. They had to add plot to all of the new items. And by golly, they fucking did. I like that one of the things he pops out is a pair of underwear that he just drops on the floor. Hey, you always need to make sure you bring an extra pair for an adventure. How old the Beagle Boys breathing on the... So did all the Beagle Boys and Glumgold also get uh, Fenton's patentant... Uh, sorry, Gyro's patentant, uh, you know, gum? No, what happened was Glumgold hired another inventor who created a not-quite-as-good gum. <laughs> It's still good, it's just not the best. It's, it's the second best. Second best oxygen-based gum. So what does, so Gizmo, the Gizmo, I like to imagine that Gizmo Duck just finds Glumgold and snaps his neck. <laughs> <laughs> like a Terminator. <laughs> This level reminds me so much of Gemini Man Stage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what? This section, you know, in this section, I can see that. I no, it's totally because at the start that. you're like on the moon's surface, then you're inside the moon. Except I'm not sure what the hell Gemini Man Stage is. I think Gemini Man Stage is it's, it's some kind of like crystal cave, full of tadpoles, because he's yeah. a frog. <laughs> That, you know, th I love Mega Man 3, but a lot of the uh, levels don't make it. Like, I wonder what, what the fuck is Shadow Man's level? Like, like a blood factory? Like, what the <laughs> fuck is that, you know? Why are I there no instant death lava. spikes in Spike Man's level? Or Needle Man, whatever. Needle Man, yeah. Yeah. yeah they also ex they made this a little bit bigger, too. I think they only added, like, two more screens of the moon's interior. What do, you, what do you guys think of the, the kind of um, flashlight effect? It kind of like keeps uh, Scrooge in light, but everything else about him is, is kind of dark. I like when games do that. It doesn't really make it too hard to see anything, so it's just like, yeah, it's there. I didn't it's even cute. notice it really. Because remember, this is a playable show, so it's like the spotlight. More money for me, money bin. Bless me, bagpipes. 
I wish it was this easy in life to get money. Same. Tell me about it. I would, I would totally fucking learn how to pogo with him, and I could just break shit and get free shit. To be fair, there are people in this world that do make money off pogoing. <laughs> but it usually involves knowing how to do like backflips on those pogo sticks. Yeah, but yeah, but would, would any of those people have made close to two million dollars in the span of twenty minutes? No. Exactly. I should, I should love, I love the Beagle Boys. They just, they're like Goombas. They just walk yeah. back and forth and do nothing of value. <laughs> Why can't they be like Koopas and just walk off the wall to their- or walk off the platform to their death? <laughs> I made it here first. No, not the cheese. Anything but that. <laughs> How are the mice- the mice surviving? That- that is a great out of context <laughs> line. No, I not the cheese. Anything but that. So this boss, I mean, it's um... I, I always felt that the, the mouse or the giant rat was a was a weak boss fight. It was a weak boss fight in the original, because yeah. at least in that, there's zero context, because now it's just giant rat on the moon. At least this one, they have some foreshadow, because you had the little rats that were in the test tubes with Fenton. Yeah. So at least now everything, quote unquote, makes sense. Although this rat is, is powered by Blast Processor, look at him go! Jesus fuck. Oh, they should have given him a spin dash attack. Hey, this, this rat's fast. He's not a speed, he must be using the cheese of electricity to boost. Faker, I think you're the fake rat around here. <laughs> <laughs> you're comparing yourself to me? Ha. Huh. I'll make you eat that cheese. <laughs> It just keeps coming. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I love whenever he like he makes like IRS jokes, those are the best ones in the game. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I think I, I said it in, in a previous part, but when you're being chased by boulders, he says, it's gained in interest. I mean speed! <laughs> I think some of the best IRS jokes I've ever heard are uh, uh, in the show Archer. One oh, of the I love Archer. When Cheryl keeps confusing the IRS for the IRA. <laughs> so, so what happens is one of the guys is like, I owe the IRS like three million dollars. Jesus, why do you owe the Irish Mafia so much money? <laughs> They're not even the Irish Mafia. That, that's the joke because she's an idiot. <laughs> and then what happens is like, Jesus, how many Irish armies are there? Why would I don't get why would this cheese be expensive? Like why would anyone give a fuck about it? Dude, have you seen how expensive like artisan cheese and shit is? Yeah, cheese is expensive. Like proper like Okay, people eat fancy things. We will never know because we are po folk. Good point well made. So, uh, me, I, I, as we're getting to the end of, again, the, one of the old, most overrated level slash music tracks in the entire world of all time, uh, if you want to briefly sum up your thoughts on this game and then let the good folks at home uh, know whether they can find you and stalk you. Uh, no. 